Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to set up virtual desktop on your Oculus Quest device. So it could be Oculus Go, Oculus Quest or Oculus Quest to the newly released one that came out about a week ago. So the benefit of virtual desktop it allows you to look at, you know, this desktop right here on your device. But what's even better is that you can actually play VR games that you normally would need something like either an Oculus Link cable, so you would be tethered with a wire, Oculus Rift S or a Rift using again a wire, or you know a Valve Index or a HTC, again most of the time you would have a wire. And the benefit of that is you get the graphical capability of your computer, so if, if you've got a super duper gaming machine and you have it on your headset with a Quest, in as it is, looks great. But it does not rival something like how Half-Life Alex or you know Trials on Tatooine or you know Stormland, you know, those games. With this, you with virtual desktop, you can actually play those games but wirelessly. So that, that is fantastic. So a, a few prerequisites. Make sure you've got your Oculus set up in developer mode and you've got side loading done. So basically you can side load applications using side quest and i've got a separate video covering that so feel free to check that out on my channel the other thing is highly recommend that you have a good quality router if you have something like a wi-fi 6 router it generally will work better and i would recommend an aftermarket router above what your internet provider would give you generally speaking their routers are pretty pants even the virgin one is in the uk and same with the us wherever you know one you have there is not as good as a dedicated you know you know like a google one or an asus rog router or you know a tp link you know anything extra obviously you can spend 50 to 100 quid or you can spend three four hundred pounds whichever one you want so make sure you got side quest all set up next thing that we need to do is actually have virtual desktop you need to download it so this is one you know unfortunate thing you can it's unfortunate in the fact that you have to pay for it you have to buy virtual desktop on your oculus quest device and install it so make sure you buy this let me just show you where it is on the app store anyway i'll, I'll show you so just give me a second let me put my headset on so I, and I will share the screen. So just bear with me a second. Okay, so I'm about to record the screen. Okay, so the screen is now recording. And okay, if you go to you know like your you know not library, just generally here. And if you go to explore, obviously the interface may be different depending on what version you want. You just search for virtual desktop it's actually right there but I'll search for it manually virtual okay so click go should appear in any moment now and there we go virtual desktop so click that purchase it and install it it's not that big so once you've got that installed we can continue with the PC portion. So I'm going to end this recording. So recording ended now on the Oculus Quest. Just see my desktop again. Now what we need is to install vrdesktop.net. We need the VR Streamer app. So if you click download on this, this will start downloading. I've already got it downloaded, so I'm going to cancel it. And if we install that, install this application, it shouldn't take long, it's very small, click next. I'm just gonna click modify because you wouldn't get this interface, but if I you know, was to go in here, that's fine. Again, you won't get this. Uh, you know, you just install it. Install it to whatever directory you want. Uh, it's just configuring the virtual desktop service. It won't take much longer now. Okay, so that's all done now. And we'll open that up in a second. 
So we'll open it up in a second. Now what we need to do is open up side quest. Remember, I've got a separate video covering how to set side quest up for side loading. Connect your Oculus Quest device to side quest. Like I said, I've already covered this in all a separate video. And if I connect it up. And once it's all connected, you want to find virtual desktop. If it doesn't appear there, just you know, search for it. It should appear there because it's a very popular app. And virtual desktop, there we go. And what you'll get is a install to headset button. Click install to headset. We can go here. There'll be a task that's running. File transfer successfully. It is very, very fast. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can actually close SideQuest down. We're all good with that end. We can disconnect the cable, as you probably just heard a little notification. So let me put this cable to the side. Next, what we want to do is we'll minimize this. We want to launch up the streamer, virtual desktop streamer. So open this up now. So what you'll get is an interface like this. We'll put a username in. I'm gonna put my name, and that's what I'll, you know, that's what will appear. Click save. Just do automatic for the preferred codec. You can feel free to experiment with these as you want. I recommend leaving them as default. The only one I've changed is start with Windows. I want to manually launch it myself. Make sure this is open now. We're gonna put on our Quest headset. Okay. There's the controllers. And what I'm gonna do is record video. Okay, so you should be seeing the screen now. You wanna go to your library. You wanna go to all, find virtual desktop. Mine was at the top because I had already, you know, <laughs> launched it before. And as you can see, it's connecting. That's my computer connected. If it doesn't connect, just click it like so, and it will connect. Okay, so what's happened here? Okay, so if you just click the option button, I know what's happened here. The option button on the left controller you'll get this interface and from here we can launch steam vr we can launch games so let's let's launch a game so we can launch oculus games and if the oculus launcher isn't open it will launch it up down here it gives you frame rate video frame rate your cpu gpu utilization and video bit rate so, and if you go to settings let me show you this first if you go to settings you can change them so obviously the higher the one you do the more you know power it will draw higher the frame rate but this is one cool thing it does support 90 hertz which the new headset does support via the virtual desktop oculus link does not support 90 hertz yet whereas this wirelessly does which is fantastic you can change the brightness the lighting and you can change the streaming settings as well so feel free to experiment with these pulling them up and down a little bit depending on how good basically your router is i don't have the best router so i don't have you know, always on the high settings but again it's router dependent if you have any questions regarding the router side of it what i would recommend feel free to pop me a message but if we go to games and we can launch a game here so let's say if i was to launch do, 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 do. what game did i launch before yeah let, let's launch lone echo So there you go it is now launching we've got the two hands now i can look around and if you notice that if i move really fast you may see just a bit of black and while it's adjusted again that's a router specific problem if you have a better router you won't have those issues and as you can see i'm in lone echo which is a pc only game at the moment for oculus rift or you know a valve index headset for example and I'm in here and I can play the game. So with your left controller, if you press the menu button, it'll activate just the regular menu button in the game. But if I keep it pressed, the dog's gone crazy there. If I keep it pressed, it'll take me to this interface. And in this interface, we can switch to VR. So if we're on desktop, make sure you keep this menu button press go here click switch to VR 
and then from here we can exit we can launch steam vr go to desktop we can change the game as well but that said that is how you use virtual desktop if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video and actually before i do that probably best if i was to also low expert information with your right controller if you press the menu button you can you know quit virtual desktop from here as you normally would and i'm going to end the recording okay so do, 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 do. so that part of the recording has ended and now what we're going to do is just end this part okay thank you all for watching